teacher, lifelong learner, lab experimenter. These are just some of the elements that matter in this fascinating career. We're going to meet a chemistry professor. Hi there, I'm Viviana. Hi Viviana, I'm Laurel. Nice to meet you. So this is where you work. This is it. Can I take you on a tour? Yes, please. I'm Laurel Schaefer, and I'm a chemistry professor here at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver. In my job, I am an expert problem solver. We identify problems in either measuring or making molecules, which make up chemistry. And in that process, I do this work with a series of students to learn how to make and break bonds when I start in the morning as a chemistry professor, I need to find out what needs to be dealt with, and I also uh, collaborate with people around the world as well as industries. I usually have an itinerary in the day, which will include several meetings, a lecturing episode if it's a semester where I'm teaching, and time in the research lab with my students. How much time do you spend in the lab versus how much time do you spend in the office? Well, I spend a lot of time in my office, some of my time in the lecture hall, and I also really enjoy dropping by the lab. I try to get into the lab uh, around nine in the morning. One of the big advantages of being a professor is that I can actually have quite flexible time. So I can leave if one of my kids has a track meet, for example, later in the afternoon. Or sometimes I stay late into the evening if we have a visiting speaker coming. So let's get you all suited up here. Great. You now all chemistry in a modern lab would take place in the fume hood. But if you're ever handling anything that could potentially um, light on fire, for example, then you just pull down the sash very quickly and that will cut off the flow of oxygen and, and that will squelch fire. We always start out labs highlighting what the safety risks are and what the procedures are that you need to use to be safe. To secure a job as a chemistry professor, first you need to get a bachelor's degree. In chemistry, it's actually very difficult to skip the master's degree and go directly into the PhD, which is what I did. And then if you want to become a research-oriented professor, you will need to go do a postdoctoral fellowship. One of the things that drew me into chemistry in the first place was the ability to work with my hands. Your ability to create things with your hands is really what results in success. That means being able to work both with your naked hands, but also being able to work when your hands are inside this glove box that make it very challenging to work. This is what we call a glove box. Glove box. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Or sometimes a dry box. Great. Event. So the way we do this is we take our chemicals in and out, and then we go into the glove box. You make it look so easy. This would be where you would handle uh, compounds in a way that people would be familiar with under normal circumstances. Oh, wow. One of the surprising aspects of being a chemistry professor is the amount of paperwork you need to do. You have to assemble scientific publications. I think a lot of people assume that we sit in an office and we kind of work alone. I couldn't be further from the truth. We work as a team. We organize ourselves in groups to research research areas. And the answers that we gather help inform the progress of others. We need to be very accurate when we're reporting what we're discussing and what we've observed and what that may mean for chemistry in the future. And so we have to use appropriate nomenclature. We cannot cut corners in this way because that cuts corners on the quality of the science and that impacts how that science will be received more broadly. I run a research group with about 12 to 15 students and their ideas are different from my ideas. And we have to come up with something that's gonna work for us both. I need to train them in exactness, uh, technical skills, learning how to do that with all the different individuals involved. That's the most challenging part of my job. As a chemistry professor, you're working with really bright and creative and driven and motivated individuals. My students teach me things all the time. And so that moment when you learn something that you never expected because of the excellence of your students is, is really rewarding. Laurel, thank you so much. I had a lot of fun in your lab today with all your students. It was really good to have you come by. So nice to meet you. Likewise, thank you. Once again, I'm Viviana for Career Trek, reminding you that this career could be yours. We'll see you next time.